Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for another Paragon Films product presentation on some of our hand film products. I just want to introduce myself. My name is Alan Abbott. I cover Alabama and Mississippi territories for the Paragon Films team. And I hope you've had a chance to join us for a couple of our webinars that we've been running concurrently here the last few weeks. Yesterday we focused on Titus, Nexus, Cold Force, Contrast, and Torque. And today we will be starting off with Edge. After Edge, coming up at 11 o'clock Eastern, Sean Mitchell will take you through Spartan Hand Film. And then coming up at 1 o'clock Eastern today is Global Force with Adam Luckin. And then wrapping up the day at 3 o'clock Eastern will be Zach Poole taking you through Ultimate Force. But before we dive into our Edge Transit Protection Hand Film, just want to introduce you to the rest of our team here at the Hand Film category at Paragon. So first off, we have Spartan. Spartan is one of our more seasoned veterans. It's been around for quite some time. It's a very successful film that we've had with our uh, reps out in the field. And it is a very tough film. It's designed to go head-to-head -head with other conventional films that you may see out in the field. But it was designed with you in mind in that it's a stiffer film. So it actually takes a lot less effort to reach its lockout point. You can use less film, and you can do so in thinner gauges when you're going up against those conventional heavier gauges. Next up, but secondly not least, is Torque. Torque has uh, been around for over 10 years with us now, and essentially it's half the film and it requires half the effort. So it's a great light hand film that covers a wide range of operators, as it doesn't matter what size, shape, young or old, and it also requires half the film with half the effort as other conventional films do. And then the rookie on our team, but he's definitely not a rookie, is Titus. So Titus is our newest, latest, and greatest cutting edge technology in our line of hand films. This is the first hand film that we've ever been able to pierce the veil of six micron. This is a five micron film. It is Paragon's first true pre-stretched hand film. It's 20 gauge. The width is 15 and a quarter inches, and it comes on a 3,000 foot roll, and that comes with a two and a half inch core. So Titus was designed with sustainability in mind. It is a thinner film, it is a greener film, and it is a stronger film. We also include free inserts with every pallet that your customers order, so it's another value add that we like to uh, throw in there with Titus as you bring in new accounts for Titus. But let's let's focus on Edge now. So We've, we've had Edge in our back pocket with Paragon for a number of years now. Paragon's been around since the late 80s. And with Edge, it was designed for you to go head-to-head -head out in the field with those other conventional films. But I want to give you a background first on what is blown film and how is it made, and then we're going to get into what is cast film and how is it made. Car Paragon is a cast film manufacturer, but we'll get into that here in a couple slides. So let's start with blown film. Blown film is an older technology. It's been around for a very long time. And a lot of our competitors are sourcing lower quality resins. They also are very noisy and difficult to unwind. So if you've ever been in a facility and you can actually hear the film coming off the roll and the unwind, that's likely a blown film. It's also hard for the operators to actually stretch the film because it continues to stretch and neck down so it, all of a sudden you could have an 18-inch roll that is necking down to 12 inches of coverage as they're putting it on the pallet. So that requires the operator to make more revolutions and use more film, which costs your customer more money to wrap that pallet. Not to mention blown films can leave a residue behind on the hands of the operators as well as on the products that's being wrapped to. So it's not a great selling feature that comes with blown film is that residue where cast film has no residue at all. It's very cloudy, hazy, they're foggy on the pallet. And then there's a lot of inconsistencies with the process itself, how much control there is, and this can sometimes lead to telescoping issues on the actual rolls themselves. So what happens with blown film manufacturing is once the film has completed the wrapping cycle and gone through the winders and has become the roll that you're going to use, it actually goes into a hot box. And it has to stay in that hot box for just the right amount of time. If it's in there too long, it can lead to the roll telescoping. It's not something that happens overnight. It happens very slowly over time. So it can, you know, tend to start busting out of packages. 
you can start walking the film right off the roll. So now your operators are stuck with a roll they can't use, and your customers paid for a roll that they can't use. So there's a lot of waste that goes into that. And if it's not in there long enough, when it goes into the hot box, the purpose is to bring the cling out of the layers into the top layer because it's an additive. So it has to stay in that hot box for just the right amount of time to have good cling. If it's in there too long, it can telescope. And if it's in there not enough, long enough, it can affect how good the cling actually is. So let's look at the blown manufacturing process because there's a unique term there, blown. So we're going to hear the word dye today. I want you to think of blowing bubbles if you have children or when you used to be a kid, you used to blow bubbles. You take a stick, you dip it in the ring, pull it out, and you supply some air to it, and you have a bubble. So just like the little girl here on the left, she's dipped the ring, she's applied air, she's blown air into it, thus forming a bubble. But what I want to focus on is the blue ring on the ground. That's the dye, essentially, that's going to make the shape of her bubble. And you can actually see the next bubble coming out of that blue dye. Well, let's go over to the right side of the screen. The same is true for the blown film process. As the resin pellets are being melted down into a hot molten state, they are feeding through these red tubes that you're seeing into a circular dye. This is a unique difference between the blown process and the cast process. The blown process is using a circular dye, and then air is being blown through that dye and inflating that bubble. As that bubble is inflating, it is pushing that film all the way up into the top rack on the right hand side. You'll see where it gets collapsed. The two films collapse on top of themselves. They go through a series of winders. Some of them have chill rollers. Some of them just use the process as they're chilling down and winding on the core. So in this example here, you can see all the extrusion and the hoppers feeding the hot molten plastic into that silver dye in this machine, inflates the air through the bubble, and then it's collapsing and going through the winders. So the biggest thing to remember here is blown film is using a circular dye. They're going from resin to rolls, but it's using a blown process with a circular dye. So let's talk about cast film. Cast film has great advantages to help you succeed out in the field and growing your stretch film business. It is a stronger film. It has more reliable consistencies in the form of footage control and gauge control, not to mention the great optics and the high resistance to tear and puncture. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a little deeper dive into this process that you're seeing on the left-hand side. We're gonna break it down and go through it step by step. So as we're taking our hot molten plastic, we are feeding it into a hopper so that it can be heated up and melted down. And Paragon made an intentional decision to be a cast film manufacturer back in 1988 because of its excellent quality, consistency, and the high performance that we get out of the cast process. So as this is melting down, going through the feed pipes and out of the dye, so here's the term dye again, bottom right-hand corner. In the cast process, we use a dye that is in the shape of a coat hanger. So as that hot molten plastic is coming down straight through the top, it is then dispersing both left and right evenly across the dye, and then it is going straight onto a highly polished chill roller. This is where cast film gets a lot of its strength from because the direction that this die is running linear is in the same linear direction as the equipment. Thus the term with edge, the resins we are using in edge is a low linear density polyethylene. So let's look at the next steps. So we've taken the resins, we've melted them down as they're going through the extruders. They then feed into the feed pipe and the manifold. Once they go through that feed pipe and the manifold, they are then getting pushed through that linear shaped die that we just talked about. As soon as they go into that manifold and enter the die, they immediately come out the other end and it's hitting that highly polished chill roller. This is the unique differentiator between the cast process and the blown process. This is where Paragon gets all of its strength in our films from as well as the high optics and clarity that come with a lot of our films, machine and hand. And if you've ever run Nexus, you've seen how clear it is while it's running out of the equipment and being put on the pallet. It's great utilization if you have customers that are using a lot of barcode scanning or simply just need to see their products because they're used to putting so much film or they're putting a hazy, foggy film on there that you can't even see through the plastic to see what the product even is on the pallet. So as this is coming out, we're talking over 500 degrees of hot, melted plastic. 
it hits this chill roller immediately, and then it goes on to hit a second chill roller. So let's look at the inside of the manifold and the die. So as you know at Paragon, we source the highest quality resins. We don't just put any resin into our films. We only use the highest quality resins before we even start the process. These are inspected for quality assurance. As soon as all of those resins, and this could be an example of some of the resins that are in our different films. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you've got a red, a purple, a green, a blue, and a yellow in this example. These are all coming through different feed pipes in the process. They all come together to form the different layers of that particular film that's being made. They then go into the coat hanger shaped die and come out and begin the winding process. So in the bottom left hand corner here, this is a picture of one of our highly polished chill rollers at the factory. And you can see how clear that film is as soon as it came off that chill roller. You can see through all the pipes and hoses and feed tubes that are making up our process of cast film. So again, this is the unique differentiator between cast film and blown film. So if anybody ever asks you, other than the noisy unwind, clarity, what's the biggest difference between the two? Well, one's using a highly polished chill roller, and the other is using a circular die that is blowing air through and then winding it down. So this is using a coat hanger shaped die, and if you look close, you can see it in the background, but it's running the whole length of that chill roller. Up in the top right hand corner, this is actually Edge. Edge is actually picked and packed by a robot as soon as it comes off of our line. It is then put into the cases and shipped out. So essentially, the first people that are touching Edge are your customers when they open their boxes. So let's recap some of the advantages of the cast film process. We've got high quality resins that we start with. We melt those down through a very consistent process and immediately put those onto a highly polished chill roller. This helps give you good clean, consistency, and high performance, not to mention the clear optics that we talked about. We have great strength as well as footage control and gauge control. We can have better consistencies in controlling these two things with this process versus the blown process. Not to mention, as I've re-emphasized over and over, and I'll continue to do so, the strength of our film comes from this cast process with the die running in the linear direction, which is also where you get your exceptional puncture and tear resistance from. So what is Edge? Edge is a very versatile hand film. It's got five distinct layers. It's got consistent cling. And it's been around for with Paragon for quite some time, so it is one of our core stabilizing products. But we designed Edge for you to take out into the field to go to your customers to present it to them that are using those higher gauge conventional films or perhaps even a blown film if you can confirm that it is a blown film. So this was designed for you to be competitive in the market, to not only have a good film, but to have a great film to demonstrate in front of your customers. The other reason is because this also has a lot of the same capabilities as our other hand film products. You can use less film and have equal or better containment and possibly lower their cost per pallet wrap. But again, the most important thing for us is getting your customer's products from point A to point B safely with the highest containment at the lowest cost possible. So how does Edge come? Let's look at the menu. It's offered in two different gauges. You have an 80 gauge and a 90 gauge. They both come in true width of 18 inches in wide and true lengths at 1,500 feet. These are case packed at four rolls a case. And if your ASTM certifications are below, if you need a copy of either one of these, please be sure to reach out to myself after today's presentation or reach out to your territory leader and we'll be happy to get you a copy of this. So selling transit protection film with Paragon is adding value to your services. We already know you're doing a great job. That's why your customers like you but how can we add more value to the services that you're already providing? Well, we can start off by looking at the films they're using. What can we do to improve their containment and, and do so with using less film? Use our app. Our app is a great resource for you, and just because it's a hand film doesn't mean you can't use the app to quantify that data and take it back and present it to them. We're also a cast manufacturer. Again, Paragon made this as an intentional decision back in 1988 to only manufacture cast film. We just felt at the time, as we still do today, that the blown film process is simply just old technology. It's become obsolete. 
and just like new cell phones come out every three months, it seems like, or TVs get skinnier and skinnier and our computers are getting smaller and smaller, the same is true with the equipment that goes in to make a high-quality film. We are constantly reevaluating, investing in R&D to figure out what we can do to continually improve upon our own films. So again, Edge was designed for you to go head-to-head -head with other conventional hand films. It's offered in an 80-gauge and a 90-gauge at a true 18-inch width and true 1,500-foot length. So during this time of quarantine, I'm hoping we're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel here with some of the news happening. But this is a great time to sharpen your tools. So if you haven't already done so, we highly encourage you and would love to walk you through our five-star certification program. This gives you access to all of the great reporting tools that we have in our app so that you can quantify that data while you're at your customer's facility and then present it back to them, adding more value to your services. Not only can we quantify savings and statistics related to film, performance, and containment, but we can also now show your customers the sustainability impact of switching to a Paragon film. We can show them how much less plastic they will be using, how much less landfill space they'll be taking up, how much electricity we can save them if they're not having to run their stretch wrapper as often because we can wrap more pallets using less film. So continuing to add that value is very key for us and always will be. Again, as I mentioned, coming up uh, after me this morning is Sean Mitchell at 11 o'clock Eastern and he'll be taking you through Spartan. Later this afternoon, Adam Luckin in Kentucky will walk you through our workhorse machine film, Global Force. And then at 3 o'clock Eastern, wrapping up the day, Zach Poole is going to walk you through Ultimate Force. And then right back at it again tomorrow morning, we'll be uh, Sean Mitchell will be starting off at 9 Eastern, going through our newest, latest, and greatest hand film, Titus. If you have not watched Sean's presentation on Titus, I highly encourage you to do so. And think of an account that you might have in mind that would be a good fit for you and Titus. I'll be back with you at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning doing Nexus and Nexus UVI. Adam Luckin will be doing Cold Force. If you have not listened to Adam's Cold Force presentation, please do. It's not just designed for cold environments, but also those highly dusty debris environments because Cold Force does come with a higher clean package to help mitigate those dusty or cold environments. And then Zach Poole will be back with you tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern going through Contrast, which is our high slip film. And then wrapping up the day on Wednesday will be Sean Mitchell taking you through Torque at 3 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope we learned a little difference here between blown film and cast film manufacturing processes. Blown film is using a circular die, inflating that up. and has a lot of inconsistencies, noisy, difficult unwind, as well as leaving residues behind. Where the cast process, which is what Paragon is and has made a commitment to intentionally, we only manufacture cast. You get high quality, high, highly consistent, and high performance hand films with excellent clarity and exceptional puncture and tear resistance. And again, just to recap with Edge, 80 and 90 gauge, 18 inch true width, 1500 foot true length on the rolls, and this was designed for you to go head to head with those other conventional hand films out in the field. So if you haven't had any luck getting in somewhere or doing a successful demonstration because they are just bent on having their conventional 120 gauge, 90 gauge, this might be a good opportunity to order a sample of Edge and go demo it for them highly encourage you to do that. So if you need one, reach out to your territory leader and we'll be happy to do that for you. Again, my name is Alan Abbott. I cover Alabama, Mississippi. Zach Poole is down in Georgia. Adam Luckin in Kentucky. And Sean Mitchell's up in Ohio. And then Miss Carla has the rest of the ter territory that you see there. Again, I thank you for your time this morning. If you have any questions or feedback regarding today's webinar, please reach out to me and I hope you can join us for the ones we have coming up later today. Thanks again and have a great day.